In this video, I'm going to do the derivation of the volume of a cone. Okay, so let's just put title volume of cone. Okay, so before we go into the calculus, and this is primarily a video for Year 11 Extension 1 students, let's have a look at a standard cone. Okay, so cone as a circular base and a cone as a circular radius of, of R and a perpendicular height of H. Now there's two heights to a cone. There's the perpendicular and there's something which is sometimes called the slant height which is here the slant height is not useful uh, in the derivation okay so we need to know a few things before we begin our derivation we need to know how to perform a revolution of rotation about the x-axis okay so uh, I'm gonna rotate this line about the x-axis and we get something like this so you should know that the volume of a rotation about the x-axis is Multiply by pi, we have the limit of integration. We need to square our function or our x value and we integrate with respect to x. Okay, so the issue we have now is how do we calculate the formula for this straight line. Well, let's look back at our sphere. So our sphere has a radius of r, and this is going to be our y value, which makes sense. A radius of r, and it's going to have a height of h. That makes sense there. Height of H. Okay, so let's sub in all our values. So we got a pi. We're going to integrate from zero from here to here, which is H. And our equation of the straight line, let's write this up here in orange, is going to be y. And if you remember, the gradient of a straight line is the change in x, the change in y values. So the change in y values is just going to be um, r minus 0, which is just r and h minus 0, which is just h, x. Okay, so we need to integrate this. We'll put this in brackets. r, x over h. We need to square it, because that's part of our formula here. And we need to integrate with respect to x. Okay, so... I'm going to do this up here. Let's do some algebra first. Let's square each values. So we've got r squared, x squared, all of h squared, dx. And we can take out the r squared over h squared. And just treat that as a constant 
of integration 0 h x squared dx so let's perform the integration we still got our constants we add 1 to the power divide by the new power we still have the limits 0 h so we now need to substitute in our limits got pi r squared h squared h cubed over 3 and the the zero limit just gives zero now i'm going to be in big trouble if this doesn't work out we now need to multiply out so we're going to get r squared h cubed all over 3 h squared so we can cancel the h squared I'm hoping this will give us just to get h okay so now we have pi r squared h all over 3. Whew. Okay, so I'm going to write this at the top. This is how to derive the volume of a sphere, which is V, the volume of a cone rather, which is pi r squared h all divided by 3. Marvellous.